why do people commission artworks? People commission artworks for different reasons. What happens, tends to happen with me is people see my work and I do a lot of paintings of buildings and street scenes and back gardens and they'll say I'd really like one of those but of my view or a picture of my house. Because they want something that is, is, is largely created in their own mind. You know, they can have a memory of a certain time or place they lived in. Some, sometimes I've had people who are moving after living for many years in a house. And sometimes, you know, they just want a, a painting, one of my paintings, but, it, um, you know, personal to them. They want to engage with the artist because they like that artist's work. Um, they commission artists because they have something that they want painted. They want to invite an artist to respond to their house or, or a location that means something to them or a boat you know or, or a family member um, so there's something emotional about it. We as artists are there to uh, realise it for them they want a specific thing that is their idea not particularly not all just ours. I think it's always okay to ask anything to an artist doesn't mean they're going to say yes but you can always ask and I, I think in some ways the best thing to do is come into it with an open mind. I don't mind being asked. I quite enjoy a challenge actually. As a commission always starts with a conversation about, um, about what's expected and uh, what's, what's wanted and out of that is something new that evolves. So go, go in with an open mind and, and come out with something that, uh, that um, that is a memento of that experience, I suppose. I think it's quite important to ask an artist to do something they don't usually do, because we all live in our little boxes and, and, and sometimes we get comfortable doing what we're doing. And part of the, I think, the role of the patron is to shift us out of those boxes occasionally. So I think it's vital. I mean, they wouldn't really, people don't ask you because they, they know what, they've chosen you to do something, so they know that what they, what they like about it. But I think it's great if somebody puts a bit of input in, actually, I quite enjoy that. When a, a patron has a particular idea, a particular uh, uh, something that they wish to, a, a piece of art they can visualise, almost, that they want to own and are prepared to pay for, and it's our job as, as artists, if we are commissioned, to make that for them. It's an incredibly impersonal experience, and at the end of at the end of it, you don't just have that piece of work. You have a piece of work that means something to you, that's personal in some way, but also you have the memory of that experience of engaging with the artist. If you're on location, inviting that artist to paint your house and, um, and the meeting um, between you and them, which is incredibly special. I think sometimes people, they're thinking about buying an original piece of artwork and then they think well I could get well particularly of my work because it's a view of a street or a building they think well I could get it of my building or a building I love. It doesn't exist anywhere else it's there it's partly it's a collaborative process and partly part of them is in it too as well as us. People are almost always um, impressed with the results and that is partly because they already know the artist and to a certain extent they, they're looking through the artist's eyes and it can be surprising. If they're not pleased, I'd do it again until they are pleased because it's very important. You, leave, you can't not leave them unpleased. It's not an option. And I always think, I mean, it's lovely of them that they've chosen me to do the painting and so it means a lot to me that that, that paint is going to hang on their wall and I want to make sure that they're pleased with it. It can be uh, maybe something that you didn't expect or maybe something you did expect because you knew their work. They often feel really moved when they see it in the end. I had once that I, I redid the whole picture and I and say that they until they were, they were happy. It really v depends on the artist, it depends on a whole set of factors like um, travel expenses, size, medium, etc. Well, it's as long as a piece of string because people can commission very small things and very big things. Um, but they, uh, most of the commissions I undertake start at around £2,000 and go up according to size, scope, materials 
and, uh, and complexity. You can specify a budget and I, I started about £750 so I've dealt with commissions that have cost all in about £750 right up to something like 30000 But generally a small painting, say a, a 20 by 30, which is a real favourite size of mine is so £2,000. I think the other thing it, that we do a lot at Mar Galleries is to try and provide a quote that is as transparent as possible. So one thing that people worry about a lot is whether the costs are going to unravel. And, uh, and one of the things that we do is try to think of everything in advance provide that quote in advance before you've committed to anything. You can have a, our clients have conversations with the artists. Um, so everything is, uh, is talked about upfront and you know what's coming.